Uh, what we came here to talk about is a little thing called TensorFlow, or more specifically, TensorFlow.js. And mm-hmm. before we get into TensorFlow.js, let's ask the, 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 the precursor question, which is, yeah. what is TensorFlow? Yeah, absolutely. So um, let's let's rewind a bit uh, back when some of our some of our older programmers started doing AI. We were doing things like mini max algorithms and all these other kinds of things where we were programming our mentality into software. So maybe if you're old enough to play Street Fighter or things like that, people were actually programming, you know, what should happen and what's going on there. Then around, I want to say 20, well, I'll say like 2006, people started really saying, well, can't we use data for these things? And then in 2012, we started to see machines doing human-like level of of, uh, sort of like establishing stuff. Like, is there a bird in this photo or things like that? And it was like, as a coder, like, like, I don't know how I would code, is there a bird in this photo? That's extremely complicated, but... I was able to, uh, what's, what starts to happen here is we start to figure out how to use data to sort of manifest the algorithms. Um, and that's the concept at like, at some level, I like to explain that is the way that we actually do things with machine learning. Machine learning is the concept that, um, you know, as a programmer, you get the solution and then you code it. Um, but is uh, machine learning, we have the answers and then we're letting the machine sort of figure out the balance to kind of get there and be able to get to the other side of that. And uh, machine learning kept growing and getting more popular in 2012. I think, you know, Google only had one machine learning model in production. At the end of 2017, they had like 4,000. It's hard <laughs> pressed for like, I can't even write an email now without my email services, like finishing my emails, or by seeing like GitHub Copilot, like finishing my code, like the, the the world of this all coming together is coming through machine learning. And in order to do that without all the linear algebra, <laughs> without going and taking Andrew Ng's Stanford course and plowing through 50 hours worth of math, um, you need a framework. And the frameworks that are doing all that complex math and optimizing things and accessing GPU, those are things like TensorFlow. Okay, so so that's so that's TensorFlow. So it's it's yeah. there to help make it easier then for me to take all of that data, um, put it in, and let the computer start to figure out the pattern. So when I give it a new yes. piece of data, it can go, oh, okay, this is going to be the answer. This is where it's going to fit, or whatever whatever mm-hmm. the answer is there. So yeah. then TensorFlow.js, I'm going to guess, is the JavaScript version of said framework? Yeah, exactly. Uh, shortly thereafter, they announced the, the idea of, let's not just do this in Python and keep it on a server. What happens if we, um, where, where all JavaScript, I forget the name of the law, but if JavaScript can do it, JavaScript will. <laughs> and what happens oh. is, uh, quite specifically, yeah, um, they're saying like, all right, well, what happens when we move this to JavaScript? All kinds of cool things happen because of that. One, we can start using Node. Um, Two, we can start using like microservices that are out there. And then three, we can actually push this onto all kinds of devices, any device where JavaScript exists. So we could put it on mobile phones and we could put on the browser on the client side. And when it comes out over to the client side, it it creates this ridiculous level of uh, privacy as well, because uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, not too long ago, there was an aging app and everybody got really upset because they found out it was sending those photos of your face (sighs) over to servers somewhere (laughs) else and you didn't own it and the rights were all bad and everything like that. What uh, What if it wasn't doing that on their server? But if it was doing that right there on your device and the privacy was insured, that's the benefits that you get like on device training. And honestly, that's one of the cool things you get with TensorJS in browsers. And and also like and and granted, you know, we as developers, we've we've started to kind of abuse this, um, <laughs> but start to take advantage of the processing power that does exist on on the oh, client. Yeah. You know, like yeah. the, like 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 that old saying that you know, um, you know, people went to the moon on like you know yeah. a, a fraction of what our our, our little pocket device phones right. um, yeah. can uh, can can now do. So using TensorFlow JS then starts to gives give us a little bit of an ability to take advantage 
percentage of uh, of of that computing power. Yeah, there was a website that would uh, turn you into an anime character, and it was a really cool. It was like a you know anime me dot. Or I can't remember. I'm not going to give you domains to go try. Uh, <laughs> But um, what happened is you you go like type in there, and one of the problems they had is like, hey, too many people are asking for their anime character right now. Uh, come back later, and right. it's a free service, so of course they weren't gonna like pay more to give more free anime characters of your face out there. Uh, but that's a great opportunity for sharing that for for something. If I went and did it, and then it was actually just doing it on my machine, you know, my GPU uh, activates, no problem. You know, uh, I could animate a CSS <laughs> gradient and activate your GPU as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's plenty of ways to do it. At least this way, it's it's helping people out. Okay. Uh, by the way, it's Atwood's Law uh, from yes, uh, from Atwood's Coding Law. Hair. Yeah, that Atwood's is correct. Law. Yeah, that is I, it. I, I, I knew the website. I just could not remember remember his uh, his his name. 